when we connect and I'm really happy to give Oliver Ramstep from BMW of North America. Oliver, welcome to the conference and thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, and thank you so much for your time to participate in the interview. As a start, could you just introduce yourself and tell us a bit more of what you've done in the past few years? After my um, electrical engineering study and Master of Business Administration, I started BMW in the area of simulation. At that point of time, I already had contact with the HMI, but after that I had some sideways like, you know, releasing head units, doing um, cluster development, uh, head unit development, head up display development, or product cost engineering. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm in the United States, uh, responsible for the local requirements and development of BMW. You will be moderating a roundtable discussion tomorrow afternoon um, regarding the disruptive changes in the automotive industry and how they create challenges for future HMI concepts. What particular questions, challenges have you brought to the conference? Well, I think if you look at the whole industry, there are changes <laughs> regarding the business model and regarding what technology we use. So like today, when the driver is in charge completely with no assistance systems or in the past, and uh, now level two systems are on the market and then we're heading up into the era of autonomous driving with or without driver and there's an interim step where it's very getting very difficult for the OEMs to find the right balance between an HMI that doesn't distract but also but still keeps the driver awake while he has a monitoring task which is more challenging than just a driving task in some areas. So I think this is one of the big questions Second one is, of course, if the driving is more comparable between the different OEMs, the interior and the HMI, or the user interface, uh, gets more differentiating between the different OEMs. How can the driver actually still be kept in the loop and kept alert? Well, we know from different um, studies that just doing the monitoring is really challenging and the driver is getting fatigued and maybe less as alert and less able to take over control in a certain amount of time. So in that case you really have to keep him alert like uh, giving him um, chances to stay awake, giving him, giving him a sort of positive distraction while when he's under control we have to get rid of all the distractions. So that's the balance we have to keep mm -hmm. and I think this is something where the whole industry is, is working on. HMI is obviously, especially in the car, a quite complex topic, um, especially when it comes to different operations. How can it actually be kept simple and easy to understand for the driver so he's not completely overwhelmed? I think there are several mechanisms that you can use. The one is, and this was already mentioned in one of the presentations today, that you filter information. Not every information has to get through to the driver. Second thing is where you place the information. So depending on the importance of the information, you place it in areas where the driver is really um, takes notice very fast and very quickly. Maybe using also standardized icons or standardized signals. And the less, inf less important information you put somewhere else where the driver, if he has time to look around, sees it. What are your personal insights? Um, are there different requirements, like different regional requirements when it comes to HMIs? Definitely, if you look uh, between Europe and Asia, obviously the, 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 the language and the, and the letters, but also from the cultural point of view, from the experience with the cars, there are differences. Regarding United States and Europe, um, I think you have to have a closer look whether there are really differences. I think if you look at the culture of the United States, how they deal with technology is sometimes different than the, the one in Europe. Well, great. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your insight with us. It's really much appreciated and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. Sure will do.